is our fight. No question about it. You cannot fight it for us. But there are things you do and things that you don't do that you know, sometimes make the fight longer or harder for us. First thing is that stop. You, your, your countries do public policy, foreign policy on a short-term, self-serving basis. And it is amazing to me because you do it over and over and <laughs> over and over again. So right now, for example, in Africa, one of your best friends is Obi Angema. Hmm? Then you don't know who Obi Angema is. <laughs> Equatorial Guinea, little tiny island off the coast of Cameroon. Uh, he's the fourth richest country in the world right now. He's got so much oil that he doesn't know what to do with it. Meanwhile, at least 50% of his population is living in poverty. He's a dictator. I mean, you think Cam I think you think Cameroon is bad? I would not want to be an opposition leader in equatorial in, in equatorial Guinea. But United States, he's he's your very good friend right now. You want oil? You he's you know friend, friendly friendly, okay? And in a couple of years, it's going to be a catastrophe, and you will have to be there. Then you're saying, what do we do about this mess? But you help to create it. So stop with the short-term self-serving behavior that favors dictators. Um, stop compromising. We need to stop compromising as a world on basic human rights. Yeah? We need to stop compromising as a world. You know, yesterday we were having a, a discussion at, 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 at dinner. We, as a world, we failed Rwanda. We watched the Rwandan genocide happen. But amazingly, we are right now, right this minute, failing Burundi. As we stand, and we're sitting there having a wringing hands conversation. Oh, what do we do about this Kunziza? And we've been doing it. We knew it was going to happen. We watched it happen. And nobody had the political courage to take on these leaders with regard to basic human, human rights. And this is part of what I call perpetuating a double standard for Africa. Um, what you must start doing is what the Camden Conference is doing right now. It is important for Americans to get educated, Americans and Europeans, to get educated about our interdependent reality. There is no peace for you if there's no peace for me, I will eventually end up on your doorstep, okay? There is no economic prosperity for you if there is none for me. We are today in an interdependent world. You must become aware of that, okay? Um, I'm going to, 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 to cut through this. So uh, we have tremendous possibility. The, the wonderful thing about having failed so badly up to now is that we have the opportunity for outstanding success. And this opportunity is ours, but it is yours as well, because we have the opportunity to invent new models, to do things differently. And so for me, as an African woman, I have chosen to stand right at the center of my possibility and your opportunity. <laughs>